Hi, this is Sherry. I have a journal flip through to share. Uh, this I used this book cover 1919, I think, was the uh, date. Beth Ann goes to school. And it's in really good condition. There's one little like, spot there. But the um, embossing, the flowers, the image, the color is still really good. I kept the spine, I reinforced it, and then the back. So I tried to keep from uh, making it too, too chunky. And the theme is learning in school, things like that, because of the cover. I have a little dangle here, a pocket on the inside of the front cover with some lace overlay. A little envelope with some uh, extra ephemera in it. And I also uh, added some pages from one of my books. Uh, and this page is Nature Stories. So I included pages from that just to give it a, you know, an authentic feel. Um, this is uh, one of the books where I took some of the pages from Teacher's Extensions. It's mostly um, stories. The date doesn't, doesn't really matter, 1950. Anyway, that's where I got some of my papers from. The uh, first, there's three signatures. This first one is a little flip out with a few pockets. I have this little card, the Tardy Boys, and little bits of ephemera tags and such. And this is a vintage postcard. There's no writing on the back. Just a couple of cute little, little kids. And then the inside pocket I have um, ephemera this is a pocket and this is a page from one of my uh, vintage books that's for learning for teaching children nice natural aged patina a little bit of lace trim up here and again, a page from one of my books. This is a combination of digitals, uh, tea dyed paper, and pages from some of my books. This is a little writing area. This is a pocket here. This is um, a tax receipt, 1953. Still has carbon on the back. Kids today probably have no idea what that, what that is. And this is another page from one of my books, Verbs, Basic Concepts. And there's plenty of journaling space too. Um, an antique or vintage map. I love the colors of this one and I added some tape that I um, aged with alcohol ink. Little pocket here. Some of my items, like these tags, are from Happy Mail from one of my friends, Tammy, I think. Intermediate Algebra. This book is full of troubles so that troubles may never occur. It's from a book on uh, how to do linotype, which is how they did printing back in the old days. And here's just some writing papers, tea dyed papers. A little bit of um, lace here. This is a um, actual report card uh, for the year 1917-1918, second grade, where you know most of the like when I was in grammar school, the grades were E, S, you know, satisfactory. So this is a double pocket. This here is velvet paper and this is some um, 
vintage cloth, a little bit of velvet here, and another little, little pocket. Back part of that algebra page. This is a little tuck spot. This is an actual letter from 1948. Dear May and Laddie, I have read it. It's interesting. The other part of that um, antique map page. This is just a, a collaged writing page and I took a piece of scrap paper that some child had scribbled on. This is some vintage ledger paper. It's very fragile. It's uh, from a school calendar and just some writing spots. Again, some little trim at the top there. This is an old uh, card from a card catalog, learning to teach secondary school mathematics. Children today probably have no idea what this is. I always love libraries. In college, I love looking through the card catalogs. It's just, I think a lot of us who love books, we, of course, we love libraries. Here's a little tuck spot. Some trim down here. My alphabet, this is from a song book that I have. French folk tune, my alphabet. Mm -hmm. This is a page from a little book that I have called Tony's Scrapbook. I'm not sure how old it is. I'm sure it's vintage. I don't know about being antique. It's funny, but disappointed. This is one of the uh, pages from the teacher's extension book. I thought the uh, drawings were really cute. Oops, plus there's some little poetry. Oh, as usual, I did quite a bit of stitching here and there. Here's a tuck spot from the top. Another little tuck spot. This is a double tuck spot. Here's um, just a little uh, fold out for writing. This, this is another antique page. This is a little secret writing spot. A little envelope. I just put a piece of uh, cardstock in there. Craft cardstock. And this is the pocket here. From the music book. Love the images, the colors. 1891 ledger page. It's the real thing. It's not a digital. And I have some uh, learning related pages in here. This one is reading and writing checks. And this is about numbers and measurements. I guess checks are getting to be a thing of the past also. Again, I love the colors. Here's some little note papers, kind of a paper flip up. Inspire. Here's a belly band. This is uh, just some pages I sewed, sewed together from one of my um, old teaching books. May, must it be turned on? Meg Beater, old and new, electric train, lamp and candle, and some writing space. And this is just a digit, um, I think that's a graphics 45 journaling card. But I like to include, you know, add vintage things to my journals, of course. Here's another little uh, page. I've got a couple things clipped to it. It's just a, it can be a folded pocket. It is a folded pocket. A little tuck spot. A little uh, edge piece cluster. I think that's from Tammy. More from Tony's scrapbook. This is writing areas. 
I aged this piece of paper with some acrylic, a little acrylic wash and rolling it over over it with um, a brayer to kind of make it feel soft and old. But it started out as a printable. Here's some more trim. I think that's tatting. Some flash cards. I don't know if you can hear in the background I have the radio going, so I hope it's not too distracting. Dictionary page, some stenciling, another vintage book page. May we take the animals to school? And then it's a paper flip up. Added a little tab here, it's a pocket. And this is, um, again, from, from one of my old books. This is just a little square of velvet paper and then velveteen in white with a little word Monday on it. And again, this is a ledger page. And this is a book from Hitty. It's a doll, her first hundred years. And it's a rather large book, and it talks all about, you know, the first hundred years of that doll's life. Kind of interesting. There we go. And then a page from the teacher's extension book is in here. A little bit of trim. Another folded over ledger page with the type of journal card. And this is just a little fake envelope with some secret writing spots. from one of the uh, old books, the pocket here, and some writing space. I like the drawings from the children's books. For some reason, I'm really attracted to them. I know they're not fine art, but I find them appealing. Ledger uh, glued on here with little pockets. This is a real, I guess it's I don't know what year that is. Oh, this is the rest of that um, school calendar page. And here's a tuck spot. A little uh, trim up here. A uh, glassine card that I got from Rita Taylor. She makes beautiful bags. There's another tuck spot. I think it adds something to have some really, uh, some old ephemera in my journals. And this is the uh, back, instead of the back cover with an envelope that has some digitals in it. A little lace trim here and another little charm. All right, that's it for her. Not for her, for this journal. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're able to see everything and uh, I, that I didn't go through it too quickly. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.